Hi, I'm Lisa. And I'm Madison. It's great to see you this week. So we're outside mm -hmm. and among the cows and the grass and the sheep. What a location. So this week we're in John chapter 10, verses 2 to 5. So open your Bibles and we'll get started. John chapter 10, the shepherd and his sheep. Jesus said, I tell you the truth. The man who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. The man who guards the door opens it for him, and the sheep listen to the voice of the shepherd. He calls his own sheep, using their names, and he leads them out. He brings all of his sheep out. Then he goes ahead of them and leads them. They will follow him because they know his voice, but they will never follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not know his voice. So here we see that Jesus refers to himself as the good shepherd. Do you know, a shepherd looks after sheep. And I can just imagine out here in the country, the shepherd opening the gate, calling to the sheep, come on, in you come. All the sheep wandering into the gate. And then that one or two that didn't feel like following the instructions and the shepherd calling them back, come on, you can't stay out here. And he would have kept going until he got all the sheep in the gate. And then of course, he'd have shut the gate to make sure all the sheep were safe. And then in the, in the field here, they've got everything they need. Lovely grass to eat, their water, the shepherds looking out for them all the time. They're completely protected. But you know, also the sheep know their shepherd. They know the shepherd's voice. So when he calls, they know that they need to respond to him. Do you know, Jesus tells us he is the shepherd. And Jesus, he wants, uh, he wants us to listen to his voice when he's calling us. He knows us by name because he is the shepherd. He knows each one of us, but he also wants us to know him so that we know his voice, that we know him. So how can we make that a challenge this week? Okay, so over the past few weeks, we've learned a lot about Jesus. Jesus and Jesus knows a lot about us just like you've just said so I want you to write down on a piece of paper a list so write everything that you know about Jesus on one side and everything you would like to know about him and the other and see over the next few weeks how much more you can learn about Jesus. Do you know I want to know Jesus more and more and we're always learning yeah so there's something for everybody there to do and we'll see you next time. Yeah see ya.